hi all welcome back to the channel so today in this video I'll be going to show you how we can automate slide to submit or slide to verify button or the functionality so basically you have you may have seen this kind of uh, UI where you have to enter your name email and then uh, you need to just uh, slide this uh, button uh, to your right side I mean to this right side and just they are mentioning also slide to submit so once you slide it it will submit it it's just like a uh, clicking on a submit button or login button okay but uh, the uh, approach is different we just have to slide it to submit uh, okay and uh, the similar kind of website I have here where uh, you can see here if I replace it it is saying like slide to send button so here we are also the similar kind of thing here uh, it is just a demo application uh, we can just uh, try it like how to do it like send to submit right so instead of clicking on it we just drag to the right part okay drag to this specific box and it just saying like submitting once again do this so so this is the thing we have to automate right so let's try it actually one of my subscriber or viewers uh, actually asked uh, like uh, with how we can handle this kind of scenario so that's why I'm thought I thought about making a video on it and uh, let's try it's a bit tricky I, I was not able to do it uh, actually but uh, somehow I, I figured it out how to do it and so I thought about sharing it with you guys and uh, let's try it so I already I have already created one test slide to submit python file and here uh, it's just a template and don't worry about this timeout it's just for like the page is getting loaded properly within 60 in the six seconds of time okay so next what we have to do we have to identify uh, the send button right so one sec one thing i want to let you know here like this is a slide scenario right sliding to send slide to send so i already have made one video on slide slider options like uh, slider automation or kind of price slider automation so here is that video automate slider so in this video is different right it is not uh, the same which i am currently doing uh, because here the slide thing is different and in this video it was like we have to press uh, this uh, arrow key button arrow right button so that we can go we can increase or decrease the price slider right so that thing is different now the approach would be uh, different here in this video okay so you can take it as example of drag and drop scenario because we are going to use that drag and drop options and I already made another video on it like how to uh, handle drag and drop in playwright so that video also I would recommend you to watch that video first and then came back to this video uh, uh, because otherwise it will be easy for you I, I mean I will be going to explain you everything from scratch but uh, still I'm just recommending you it okay now let me go PyCharm and first let me take the close it okay so let me take the inspect the element send button Okay, so it's highlighting one of one node let's take it and create one locator like send button page dot locator and the next one is so we are sliding to this part right so let's take inspect this one so as you can see uh, this level one is highlighting this one so when you hover over it it will be showing this one so we have to uh, take the locator for this button uh, for this element 
so what we can do we can use this slide submit and, uh, and then we can use label okay and uh, we can do something like div okay so also you can give this one arrow so div dot slide submit and arrow sign level so this is send now slide to send okay so we got the locator now one thing to notice here uh, this is coming under a wireframe so we have to handle the iframe first so where is the iframe here it is right so these buttons are coming under this iframe okay so let's take this id and i already have created video on iframe so you can watch that video i'll be adding all these links all these video links in the i icon so if you just press the i icon you can see it and one more thing like if you have not subscribed to the my uh, subscribe to my channel you can subscribe it so yeah So here page dot locator result right so not locator here we have to use uh, i frame locator this one so page dot frame locator dot locator so this is how we handle i frame and let's copy this part and replace it okay so next what we have to do we have to do the drag and drop so we got these two elements this is source location and this is the destination location right or target location you can say so first we have to click on it because if we do not click on it you know i mean sometimes happens like it doesn't focus properly so to make it focus we have to press it right and then we have to slide it so let's do that thing send dot click and uh, next send dot send button dot drag to and where we have to drag that is slide to send that's it and also uh, let's check uh, if this is getting printed or not send button uh, just for checking like no okay no send button dot in our text so that we can display this text like send arrow arrow now let's run it and before running i want to give some wait so that we can see the execution properly whether it's working or not so wait for page timeout and that should be five second now let's run it using pytest command minus headed dash dash headed and uh, let's go to the miscellaneous and then test slide to submit and uh, we need to give anything else no so let's run it and see whether it's working or not okay it it did something but it didn't submit it right so Visually, you should see that submitting options. So it didn't work, but it still says one pass because we haven't given any assertions. So that's fine. We do not have to spend time giving assertions that we can do it later. Okay, so uh, let's figure it out how we can make it work. Okay, so what we have to do here, uh, let's... Uh, okay so what we can do here let's give some delay or slow motions so 
you can try different thing but let's I mean I want to try one by one first let me give some slow motion here first slow motion of 5000 milliseconds not 5000 sorry 500 milliseconds and let's run it let's see what happens okay so it's saying it's unrecognized now let's see whether it's working or not nope it didn't work so what it is saying okay so maybe the website is taking time to load so we can increase this time to 30 seconds let's run it yep it worked properly one passed so that's the trick actually we have to do because uh, otherwise it, it is it was not working even though you have click on it but uh, you have to give this slow five motion 500 seconds at least you can try it whether like it's working for hundreds milliseconds or one seconds but I think five sec 500 seconds or we can try like we can give uh, 200 also so let's try it no. 200 milliseconds and let's run it once again okay so basically I actually did some research on it and <laughs> first I was not able to do it until I gave this slow motion I was trying something like uh, you know you can give some target positions where you can give some like uh, at what how, how much pixel you have to slide but that also didn't work right so basically this is the easiest options what I have what I can try here and I can show you to make it work so if you have any different website you can try it like let me know if it is working on it working or not basically it should work only with this one but somehow uh, we have to give this slow motions options to make it work there could be a better options to, a better way to handle it without giving this slow motions uh, if i find that i will definitely show you but uh, for now uh, this is what i have so again for last one last time let me show you so you just have to give this slow motion of 200 milliseconds anything's fine now okay let me show you one more thing like uh, if you are uh, thinking like okay can we give some delay after click maybe that will work so let let's do that as well so let me give page dot wait for timeout and let's give a delay of five or let's give it one seconds one second delay right and let's try it without giving the slow motion <coughs> So as you can see it didn't work okay so uh, that's the only options we can give it also we can try one more thing like um, we can uh, here also we can in drag drag to also we can give some timeout right so that also we can try timeout of One moment. Uh, try source position timeout. Yeah. So let's give a timeout of 500 milliseconds and let's try also. No, it didn't work. okay so the only thing we can try it with the slow motion so I think this slow motion is very powerful right so yeah 
let's do it last time yes it worked so also we can try to add some verification points so that uh, we can know like it's working or not so what we can do uh, we can try it like once it is submitting so let's inspect this button so here uh, this button whatever uh, what was earlier sent to submit right uh, that button or only sorry send button that button is becoming submitting dot 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 so let's take it as expected text so we can do something expected text or we can use expect keyword and uh, send button uh, dot uh, to have text and the text called submitting let's run it so it's saying it failed oh okay okay no why Uh, okay, so basically what is happening? Uh, it's still taking the old locator. So we need to create this locator once again here before We make it so submit Submit button and instead of submitting here we have these options, but what I want to do uh, here I want to use uh, this text um, div dot submit and button okay now let's try it Repl I'm replacing the submit button uh, with send button now let's try one second yep so it worked one passed so our objectives objective is achieved and uh, let's okay let's finish it or finish it here and uh, if you have any query do let me know thank you for watching please like share and subscribe bye